Hey everyone, it's Mike here with How To Apps. Today I'm going to be showing you how to benchmark your GPU on Windows 10. It's fairly simple, so we'll just jump right into it. The first thing we need to do is get a benchmarking application. There's quite a few that you can find online that are pretty reputable. I'll go down to my browser and show you a few of them. So more commonly, you will see 3D Mark. You will also see Heaven, MSI Afterburner, and Cinebench. For this example, we're going to be using the free version of 3D Mark. In order to get to the free version, you go to 3dmark.com. We will press benchmarks at the top. On the software tab, we will click 3D Mark. And then we will press Windows Editions. On Windows Editions, you can see 3D Mark Basic Edition is free, and we need to get it through Steam. Pressing Steam will bring us to the Steam page for 3D Mark. And on the right hand side, you can see Download Demo. Now this does require you to have Steam. If you already have it, just press yes, Steam is installed. If you do not, press no, and you will have to install Steam first. I already have Steam installed, so I'm going to press yes. And from here, it'll bring up the Steam installer for the application. I'm going to choose to create a desktop shortcut so it's easy to get to. It will tell you how much space it's going to use and ask you where you would like to install it. After making those selections, we will press next, and you will see that it is preparing to install. Next, it will tell you that Steam has queued the download, and we can just press finish. Now, since we created the desktop shortcut, we can just go back to our desktop. You will see it there, and we will double click on it. Now it will show us the progress, and we can choose to launch the application when it's finished installing. After it has finished downloading and installing, it will automatically launch 3D Mark. When 3D Mark has opened, you can see your system specs toward the bottom. And then we will press run. Now the benchmark will run through a series of graphical scenarios in order to provide you with a GPU benchmark score. Once it has finished its series of benchmarks, it will give you a GPU score. On the free version, it will just tell you the graphics and CPU score. If you paid for the advanced version instead of the free version, you would be able to compare your results online with other people doing the same thing with their computer setup. And that's it. That's how you benchmark your GPU on Windows 10. If this video helped you out, don't forget to hit the like button below, leave a comment, and subscribe for more videos.